and now we're going to uh, find out about some of the things you can get up to around the country this week as we join Joe Unwin and the actor Kevin Eldon for the listings. <laughs> okay, thanks, fellas. Hi, and first up this week, Staple Stapleton. A. <laughs> um, this unusual orienteering event takes place in Melksham Woods this Thursday morning. John Stapleton, host of The Time, The Place and some other things, will be released into the wild by trained handlers. After <laughs> giving him 15 minutes to escape, members of the public, armed with office staples, will set off in pursuit of the thin man and attempt to staple him so hard that the staple is stapled into his skin by the stapler. Now, the staple may be stapled anywhere onto Stapleton by the stapler, but in order to collect your prize, both prongs of the staple must have been stapled into Stapleton's body or face. Now, <laughs> Joe, try to speak. And there's the annual royal money fire on the steps of Buckingham Palace this Tuesday, again as usual. Hundreds of millions of thousands of pounds of your money will be thrown into the fire by the Queen, Prince Edward and the Duchess of York, who will then dance around laughing to the accompaniment of a live performance by veteran harmonica player and weakling Larry Adler, a favourite <laughs> of the Duke of Edinburgh. This event, steeped in tradition and history, starts at 1pm and is expected to last for nine minutes. Hey, she ain't nothing but a frog lady. <laughs> and that's all the events for this week. Yeah. Hey, fellas, I was just thinking, it's a shame old Tony Blairs isn't involved in that stapling event, you know, because there's a couple of points I wouldn't mind stapling him down on. What do you mean, sorry? <laughs> well, there's a couple of policies of his I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, nailing him down on. Well, which is it, nail or staple? <laughs> what are you are, talking about? Yeah, are you saying you, you want to put a staple into Tony Blair? I don't Strange see what you mean. Thing. I'll leave it for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and her husband, the actor Kevin Eldon, to find out some of the things you can get up to this week in the listings. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Thanks. Well, her mouth is cocked and loaded with words, so when you're ready, Joe... Fire! <laughs> the unusual cottage cheese shop is having an opening ceremony this week in London's Covent Garden. Lionel Cosgrave of Acton's unusual cottage cheese proved so popular with friends and neighbours that he hopes to produce it on a commercial scale. The cheese is made to a secret formula and costs £500 for a small punnet. But Lionel explains that because he's only able to produce half a teaspoonful of the cheese a day, Lionel says, my unusual cottage cheese is full of vitamins and is suitable for vegetarians. <laughs> unless they're very strict. That sounds absolutely delicious, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. And the Admiral Insurance Awards for Unfulfilled Promise will be held in Glasgow on Sunday. It will be hosted by Ross Thingy, who used to be in EastEnders, but left <laughs> to find more challenging work and ended up playing a Scottish Admiral Nelson on a low-budget insurance advert before being sacked. Nominees include Paul Squire, Rednecks, Colly Kibber, the 18th century poet laureate, and Leon Herring of This Morning with Richard, not Judy. Well done, boys. Good luck with that one, lads. And that's all the events for this week. Mm. Hey, guys, I was uh, just thinking, shame old uh, Tony Blairs wasn't nominated for that Unfulfilled Promise Award, you know. He's uh, not really lived up to expectations, has he? Well, he's only been in the job for about six months. A bit early to judge, isn't it? Yeah, but, you know. But what? Well, <laughs> I'm talking you know, to I think, I think he's done all right, given, you know, the time and everything. Yeah. Um, so what is it? Do you think he's, do you think he's ha lived up to expectations or not? I don't understand. Is it too early to judge? Too early think? to judge or what? Yeah, it's too early. What did, what did you say? I, I said say it's too early. Are you happy? <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Time to join Probably the husband like and wife team, yeah. Joe Unwin and the actor Kevin Eldon, for the listings. And in the words of the classic comedian uh, Henny Youngman, who sadly died this week, take my wife, please. Fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Saturday afternoon, a deadly toxic nerve gas will be released into the atmosphere in Cannon Hill Park in Birmingham. <laughs> Jeff Lynn of the Travelling Wilburys, who hates humanity, will unleash...
the fatal virus, which contains his we in gas form. <laughs> yeah, and fistuck! Yeah, there'll be a fistuck at the Shipham Strawberry Fair in Somerset this Sunday. Local farmer Stephen Rowlands has collected the severed fists of almost nine monkeys, which he will submerge in a barrel of local scrumpy. Visitors will duck their faces into the rancid brew to catch the monkey's fists. Anyone successfully completing a fistuck will win a bottle of pomaine. <laughs> And that's all the listings for this week. Yeah. Hey, guys, uh, I was just thinking, uh, I'll tell you what I'd like to put in the old Millennium Dome. Oh, Tony Blair's, right? And after that, I'd send the old demolition crew in. <laughs> Why? No, we'd get rid of the bloody dome and old Blair's in one fell swoop. Kaboom. Or by having him murdered? <laughs> Not literally, no. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, I think we'd all like to see old Mandy Mandelson's dome smashed. Well, I think we should reserve judgment, you know, because people said similar things about the Eiffel Tower when that was put up. Yeah, and Alexandra Palace. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but... It, I think the it, dome looks like it's going to be really great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't get it, do you? You really don't get my sense of humour at all. <laughs> Time to go over to Joe Unwin and the actor Kevin Eldon for the listings. Thank you very much. And remember, if your relationship is floundering, perhaps like uh, Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson, maybe all you need is a bit of a day out at one of our recommended events to cheer yourselves up. And that's something we'd know about, is it? Just do your little bit. <laughs> First, this week, a dog running around. A dog will be running around in a park or a piece of wasteland near where you live at some point over the next few days, I expect. So why not go and look at the dog and try to imagine what it might be thinking about? <laughs> Food, probably, or other dogs, or maybe an unusual smell that it has smelt. This free event runs continuously and is open to everyone. Oh, lordy. And what about this? Yeah, my face. My face will be on the front of my head all the time, forever, from now on, and ever shall be. If you would like to look at my face, then find me and then look at my face. Or video my face speaking now, and then you can look at my face as much as you want, whenever you want, however you want. So that's my face, the front of my head, all the time, forever. You disgust me. Yeah, maybe that's why you stick around. And now, <laughs> it's time for an update on your calls. We've had 301 calls so far. 27% um, of you would like to see Lee Hurst's head on a llama. 31% favour the Pat Sharp lizard's body flies eye option. And 42% are behind the Natalie and Brunier <laughs> ant's head's choice. Mm, that's coming along nicely. Hey, guys, uh, I was just thinking, I'll tell you whose head I'd like to see attached to a llama. Would it be Tony Blair? Yes, yes, it would. <laughs> Joe Unwin and her husband, the actor Kevin Eldon, for this week's listing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, OK, this is you guys, right? Uh, we don't know what to do this week! Well, shut up and listen, then. First up, <laughs> Spanish fly. Wait, people in Malvern will get a chance to see a Spanish fly this Tuesday lunchtime. <laughs> Spanish man Jose Norman will be visiting the town which, with the fly, which he captured in his garden in Barcelona. Malvern residents will be able to look at the fly in a jam jar and compare it to an English fly if one happens to fly past. Uh, Greg Evigan is not expected to attend. <laughs> And today is annual Confused Directory Inquiries Day. All over the country, childish people will be dialing 192 for directory inquiries and when the operator answers, saying, I'd like the number for directory inquiries, please. <laughs> so join in with that if you enjoy being pointlessly puerile. And remember, this fun game will only work if you deny knowing the number of directory inquiries, no matter how annoyed the operator gets. <laughs> and that's all the listings for this week. Hey, uh, guys, I, I was just thinking... Um... Talking of director of inquiries, right, there's a certain little number I'd like to get from a guy, right? The guy's name is Tony. <laughs> and that's what I think about Tony Blair's! Tony Blair's joke I think I ever heard. You know, yeah. to be honest, in previous weeks I found them a bit disappointing, but I think that.
that joke could actually bring down the government. Yeah. It's well, brilliant. Yeah, no, I'm just telling you how it is. Well, you know, I, I, if you had a bit sorry, more sorry, faith I'm in me, just in my ear that uh, we lost transmission there for a, a couple of minutes. Oh, I'm no. sorry. Just that means everyone at home will have missed your Tony Blair's joke. They missed. Oh, the, no. that, well, that's okay. We've got time to do it again. Well, yeah. If I think well, of uh, like there's a director no, of inquiry, Kevin, there's one. Kevin, shut up. Kevin, there is time. No, there's one particular joke. I'd like to get hold of Tony. Got wife. She's right. We haven't got time. We have to move on. I'm sorry. You don't understand, do you? I need this. <laughs> you know, um... Gosh, uh, he's an idiot. Um, <laughs> it's not real, is it? It's not <laughs> a joke. It is real. Oh, it is real. <laughs> Shh. I've created a bad atmosphere, yeah. sorry. <laughs> it's all right. By referring to it, you've no. made it worse. OK. Yeah. Over to Joe Unwin and the actor Kevin Eldon for this week's listings. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm lusting for a listing, so it's over to Joe. Come on. Right. First this week, gravel. Gravel will be thrown into the faces of sick children by excited priests at York Minster this Friday. The gravel, which may have the power to cure minor illnesses, will begin to be thrown at 9am. Mmm, I love that. And how about this? <laughs> munchkin Merlin, Merkin March. Are you one of the original actors who played the part of a tiny munchkin in Judy Garland's Wizard of Oz? Do you believe you are a reincarnation of the mystical wizard Merlin? Do you wear a merkin? Then you might like to take part in the Munchkin Merlin Merkin March from Melton to Matlock on Monday morning. I refuse to believe I'm the only person in the world who'd enjoy an event of this kind, says the parade's organiser Ian Catby, a three foot, 90 year old Merlin lookalike who hasn't got a hair on his body. Sounds fascinating. And that's all the listings. Oh, no, 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 because Richard, aren't you doing something this week? Yeah, it's a little jazz gig, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our pianist, Richard Thomas, is playing with the little Timmy Tinky Coltrane tribute trad jazz trio at Pizza Place in Bedford on Tuesday night. Oh, thanks, thanks oh, for playing. Oh, is he really? Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of tickets available for that. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, I think that's all the listings for this week, uh, unless, of course, my wife has any more unscheduled surprises for us here. No. Oh, good. All right, fellas, that's all. Thank you very much. Is that it, Kev? Isn't it? What about the Tony Blair's joke? No, nah, not this week. No. Oh, come on. It was so good it's last good week last with the director week. inquiry thing. I've been really I, looking forward I to know. all week. Well, that's the point, Rich. See, the standard was very high. I can't let it drop, see? I can't keep it up every week. It's not all you can't keep up. <laughs> uh, you said what? You said what? Sorry, you said something about I can't keep something up. Now, would you perhaps like to tell the ladies and gentlemen in the studio and at home, an old keyboard dick over there, what I can't keep up? Hmm? You're making a fool of yourself, Kevin. Uh, no, 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 I'm not making a fool of myself. Do you want me to make a fool of myself? I'll make a fool of myself. Hey, I'm talking to you over there. Yeah, Mr. Bojangles. Hey, <laughs> now, just listen up. Hey, I happen to love this little lady, yeah? <laughs> and sure, we've had some bad times. Mm -hmm. Mighty bad times. But the good times, let me tell you, fella, they've been sweet. <laughs> so just back off, Jack. <laughs> well, that, that Munchkin event sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> to Womeranger! Over to Joe Unwin and the actor Kevin pizza. Eldon for the listings. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. OK, hats off, gloves on, let's do this. And what about this? First this week, cock-a-doodle die. Visitors are flocking to Little Brook Farm near Utoxida to marvel at the talents of Binky the Cockerel. Binky has used his tiny cock's foot to trace an elaborate doodle in his own excrement, which his <laughs> owner, Michael Guy, insists resembles the late Princess of Wales if you look at it from a certain angle and squint a bit. Anyone who doesn't come and look at my cock is worse than Hitler, said Guy today. <laughs> will be a fight between some tough men from Shrewsbury and anyone who comes along to Shrewsbury Park, Shrewsbury tomorrow night. The tough men say that any other men that are in the area but don't come to fight are gay. <laughs> the fight begins tomorrow night after work. And that's all the listings for this uh, week. Uh, no, no, it isn't actually. Yeah, strike out the music again because I've got an extra one. How about this? Your wife. If your wife has been spending all of this week having secret romantic trysts with a long-haired pianist from a Sunday lunchtime program, why not try following her around and taking Polaroid pictures of her stinking infidelity, showing them on live television, and then looking at her embarrassed face? <laughs> and that is all the listings for this week. Why would I be embarrassed? <laughs> 
well. <laughs> the uh, that fight sounds and, and scary, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah.